Hello everybody and welcome to Level 1 Workout with Brett Kuhn. Um, first of all, I want to talk a little bit about the concept of this particular series of exercises. Just so you know, there are four basic families in the rudiments, okay? When you look at the PAS 40, you'll see there's the roll family, there is the diddle family, flams, and then drags. So a combination of those four families, along with the four fundamental sounds of drumming, single tap, doubles, multiple bounce, which is three or more, okay, and then flams, which takes both hands to create. I feel like flams are by far the most challenging to get right and to really get a quality sound out of the gate, especially as a young player. Now that's going to take control from working on your accent taps and your diddle stuff, which in turn is going to also take the ability to play three notes in a row, starting at one height first in double beat. You'll see there's going to be a combination of twos and threes in double beat. So all these things in this series are interlinked together to create what I call a great rudimental foundation for level one players, or any level for that matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to use eights in between. Uh, we'll do more reps on the very first set of eights just to make sure we're getting some variations. It'll be very quick. It'll be like forte piano buzz, which is just creating the buzz texture while playing eights. That gets the arm, what we call the large lever moving. Okay. And then we're going to go on to the double beat exercise, which is going to help us create combinations of twos and threes. Again, legato strokes flowing up. Then we're going to go into our control stroke. What do I mean by control? I don't really call it accent tap. I think of it as controlling the rebound. So I like to think of it as two height eights, if you will. So for example, the beginning of that exercise will start out. And what we want to really be careful of is that last note doesn't become a whip like we're prepping to control or freeze the stick. There is no freeze, just control the rebound. So if I had to draw it out as a comic, for example, I would draw a ball bouncing and then a series of arcs, right? You're not going to draw a line up to a straight line and stop at that point, go over and play again. We want to get rid of that. So that's going to happen in the diddle section where we're working on single and double paradiddles, which are the first two in the, uh, excuse me, in the diddle family. Then we're going to take that combination of the fact that we played doubles and triples, legato, we played controlled stroke, taps, and doubles, and now we're going to incorporate those to create flams in our flam section. Then the last section is going to be a combination of buzz, i.e. multiple bounce, and then double stroke rolls called drags. We don't call those diddles. Diddles are single paradiddles, double paradiddles, paradiddle diddles. But when we get to rolls, let's try to refer to those as drag and roll combinations. That'll cover the four families. So get in there, take a look at the PAS 40, and then we'll use this as a nice warm up and check for how well am I doing vocabulary wise on each of these four families. And again, we're highlighting the top two typical rudiments you'll see first in each family. Okay? All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, here we go with the workout. One last thing. The first series of eights will go four times. Forte, probably piano buzz to get large lever arm going, crescendo, and then probably back to forte, possibly mezzo forte actually a third time. Then we're gonna go into movable eights. Subito, tempo changes. Be ready for tempo changes. Be able to really hold on to those quickly, and you're gonna have excels and retards to deal with that take us into different subdivisions, okay? All those are challenges for any level, but especially at level one, we wanna make sure we're really dialing in that ability to be empathetic to music and how the pulse and time move or do not, okay? Let me get this music going. Here we go from the top. Nice wrist turn. Piano buzz, large lever now. Long buzz. 
sounds. Relax your shoulders. Mental forte, heavy hand. Predominantly wrist at this tempo. Good weight and sound. Crescendo. Division change. Good second notes. And then you hear me tap the rim, probably getting too relaxed in my shoulders. Make sure every sound you create tells you something about what you're doing. nice and even down low, okay? All accents sounding the same. Make sure we're not over whipping that last one, okay?
ready now. So piano. So several things that you might have heard along the way was beads touching. So my the good news is my beads are really close together and once in a while they click like that. I, that doesn't bother me. I'm aware of it. I fix it. Um, every now and then my right stick would catch the rim. That's okay. What am I learning from that? I probably got too relaxed in my shoulders, dropped my, my arm here a little bit too much, caught the rim, fixed it right away. 
So you keep developing that awareness. No matter how good you get, you're always going to be learning while you're playing and learning from the mistakes and the positives that you create on the instrument, okay? All right, guys, I've had a good time doing this with you. I hope you enjoy it, and I uh, hope it makes you better. Wish you the best.